I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Insanity Mode right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect Legendary Edition video. Uh, we did a lot in the last episode. It was the second episode of the entire series, and I have the playlist for every single Mass Effect video we've done is in the link, uh, the description below. There's a link there, and you can check out the entire playlist. Don't forget to leave this video a like, a comment, all of that stuff. It really helps put it into algorithms, and then hopefully more people get to see it, and uh, maybe I can do it more than once every so often. Uh, which, by the way, huge shout out to those of you in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys, and thank you for all the support on this series. So, let's jump into it. We are gonna get a new person on our squad, mate. Our, our new person on our squad, you know what I'm saying. Uh, today, we are level seven. Commander Corey Shepard is level seven. Of course, we're a Vanguard. I'm not gonna put any points yet. I'm gonna wait until I have another skill point and I'm gonna max out that charge so that we can zip zippity doo dot all over the, uh, all over the place. So in the last episode, we did kind of explore the Normandy a little bit and we're going to do that even more so. We're gonna finish up the places that we didn't go to uh, in the previous episode. So we've already explored the CIC, the captain's cabin, uh, but we haven't been to the cruise quarters or engineering. So let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, for today, we're actually going to be heading to the Citadel, which if you remember, Anderson sent us a message that he wanted to see us there. And uh, well, we want to see Anderson there as well, since we made him, you know, Just we put him on the council. Again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That sounds pretty That's good. I could go. nice, Mr. Gardner. Yeah, I could go. I could go for that. So now our crewmates have uh, have last names and whatnot. We saw uh, a crew a Hawthorne there. Uh, but you can also see that it's similar to the Normandy, but it's not quite the Normandy. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and examine this. Required to access the gunnery control station. I guess we need a gunnery officer. Who could that be? But anyways, what about the chef? Mess Sergeant Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Mess Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Uh, yeah, what are, what do you do? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Cooks food. Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So, wait a minute, so you, uh, okay. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands, most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. What are you, you're... <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> Gross. So, wait a minute, so you... <laughs> so, so this guy doesn't think like, you know, maybe maybe Cerberus should have like a like somebody whose job it is to do that. Anyways, what are your thoughts? How do you feel on Cerberus? about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. You know, as much as Cerberus is like this kind of terrorist group, he's not wrong. Cerberus is the only group that How did that you find can. your way into Cerberus? Can you Wait. believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I mean, you know, that is, that you is You have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? 
I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Okay, what can I do? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Uh, actually, Forget I, don't. I mentioned it. I don't actually. I don't. Just give me the I list. I head that way. I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Namby Pambies. I won't take Where's... any more of your time. I've like heard Back that before, work. but like from what is what? What is that? Anyways, we can check out Miranda's office. Maybe see what she's doing. Maybe say hi. How are you? Miranda's kind of hot. You have... Wait a minute. Your room is bigger and cooler than mine, and I'm the captain. All right. I'm starting to get a little mad now. I'm a little mad, Miranda. All right. Let's see what Miranda says. Commander, what can I do for you? Yeah. Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? You know, I saw firsthand the evil of Cerberus, so, uh, sure. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. So there's backers. It's not just the elusive man that has money. It's, it's his network that is providing that. Interesting. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Yeah, well, those people attacked me, so... What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Yeah, no big deal. What about the elusive man? What can man? you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Sure, but... Okay. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Hmm. Mm, okay. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> you're, uh, you're cocky. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Why were we so good, then? It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Alright, well... Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. 
Of course, Commander. Whatever well, that you explains need. why she's so hot. Because uh, she was designed to be that way. So she's been genetically modified. And I, I, I wish, like... I think it does actually go into a little more of, of how. Of how, how somebody is... Uh, genetically modified and, and what that actually means because I'm pretty sure it starts from like embryo on right um, and we will learn a lot more about her father uh, Access when we get to there the AI core is restricted oh okay interesting look who it is my friends commander Shepard I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board it's good to see you alive Dr. Chocolates? You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Nope. Welcome back, Shepard. Well, okay. I, I was a little changed. I was a adept before. Now I'm a vanguard. It's a whole thing. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. We can get I'll keep her an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I am loaded. <laughs> loaded. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. That is my favorite line. Is that Joker was like, I, I want to fly in there providing me the opportunity. But Jacques was, was like, no, I don't serve them at all. I'm here to make sure that, that I'm here for you. I love that. That's so cool. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. She's I'll see just you the later, best. Doctor. Commander. So we got a journal upgraded to find Brandy. So it looks like we have to at a store somewhere uh, and we get some Paragon points, which is also always beautiful. And we have one more place that we can go to. Well, we can go over here and check out the uh, women's restroom. Nice. That looks good. Just do an inspection. Just make sure it's clean. Yep, clean. We can actually go into the crew quarters here. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. My family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. So, these guys right here, you'll actually, if you come in and you check, you'll kind of get the story of, of, uh, of them as, as you do. As you come in after every mission and kind of check around, uh, you'll start kind of piecing together what they're talking about. So, it's it's kind of cool it's a developing story that happens very slowly over time uh so these are other rooms that we can't go into just yet and the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship so what Edie? i do what i want but what are you what are you yelling at me about there's no one in here i can i can do whatever i can do whatever i want anyways uh <laughs> so there was an Edie that we could talk to in the in the medical bay uh area and i i mean i guess we could do that it's not really going to say anything. What's this you know. area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In Shocked. the event of critical... <laughs> that's all for now. So that's what the sick bay is for, I'll is medical care. Uh, in case in case you were... I'm glad we showed that. So anyways, we want to head down to deck four, the engineering deck. 
uh, where there will be even more that we can do. We can use this monitoring station to grab another codex entry, and you can kind of see this area down here. The Systems Alliance UT-47 Drop Shuttle. Nice. And then we can check out down here, and uh, we actually have two friends that are going to be pretty darn cool as we proceed through the game, but I also want to show you that this is the drive core of this ship here, the Normandy SR2. You can actually see that. And we'll be we'll be seeing a friend down here, hopefully, at some point. And you'll see that we have, like, you know, more rooms on lock as we recruit our, our team in Mass Effect 2, which is really fun. So let's talk to Engineer Donnelly and Engineer Daniel. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Uh, I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? You guys need Are anything? you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, <laughs> if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Well, lucky for you, I have to go to Omega, so I guess I can get some stuff there. And we can get, uh, we can find out all of the info about Where'd these Where'd you two. receive your training? And I recommend Both you Both Gabby do. and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Nice. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. So you're telling me that the council that I saved from a Reaper went behind my back? How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Nice. What about Gabby? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. And what are your feelings about What do you think Cerberus? about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Yeah, daddy bags. Love it. All right. Carry on. So do, this is obviously worth doing, is coming and talking to all these before you go anywhere. Uh, whether you go to the Council, uh, the Citadel first, whether you go to Omega first, you get all these side I'm quests that you're going to be able to do. To see us. I told you she they like they they're big fans. What can we do for you, Commander? Nothing. Very I just well do, wanted Commander. to say hi. All right. Bye guys. Uh and we can actually head down here. There's nothing really for us down here right now. Uh but I do want to point out that there is another area down here and maybe maybe just maybe if we recruit somebody who likes dark places, maybe they'll be chilling down here and we can see them uh in a little bit. But you know, maybe we, 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 we it might be a little far. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, we want to head all the way back. Uh, hi, Ed. What do you have to say? What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. Hmm. Okay. So, we're going to go back to the CIC, and finally, we can leave and use the galaxy map, and I can show you all of that 
for the Commander, first time ever. A new message at your private terminal. I thank you, Kelly. Wait a minute. We have a new message at our private terminal. Let's go ahead and see what we have there. Oh, that's uh, not. This is from the one I didn't read. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. No, uh, I like you. You're very charming, Kelly. Yeah. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Oh, That'll nothing. Be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Good. I just wanted to uh, solidify our flirting, if you know what I mean. Yeah, God, come on. Come on. Don't look at me like that. I know I love Liara, all right? She's the love of my life. But uh, I'm still going to flirt. Commander. I That's just wanted to now. double check. See All right, let's go. Let's go back to the map, and let's actually do that for the first time. And I can show you the main differences between Mass Effect One uh, and and the map in Mass Effect Two, which is actually pretty dramatic. There's uh, some pretty big differences, and uh, I'm very happy about them. First of all, I mean the map just like appears, and it just looks dope when it does. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's open the galaxy map. Let's go. It looks similar, but it is not at all. You are actually flying around this place and you can see the omega-4 relay which we can't do anything with uh and we can actually like enter the orbit of these planets here we're actually right in right near uh uh omega which is pretty cool and this is the new thing here so we can get to this planet we, we check it out we're like cool look at this place um but then we can so if you press l2 we'll be able to scan and you'll see here that we can actually kind of see how much is is there so these four different bars that we have correspond to element zero iridium platinum and palladium and the higher that these are that means the more of that thing is right there so right here we're going to find some platinum and palladium probably the most we can do we'll, we'll press r2 palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols armor and cybernetics perfect so right there we just unlocked another research thing which of course we can't do yet and then we can actually still uh continue probing this planet and we have a another one right here for iridium you'll actually see if i remove my camera to upgrade heavy weapons submachine guns and assault rifles we actually only have uh eight probes so we started with 10 we launched two uh but you'll see that you know our probe stuff is we we need more of them so we can launch here grab this as well and you'll see that our scanner results are moderate here. That will actually deplete based on how many uh, things that we're actually able to find on this planet. So we want to try to do it in as few probes as possible. So right there is a good spot to get palladium. I don't mind the scanning. I know some people really don't like the scanning in Mass Effect 2. And most of this is going to be done off... Uh, off. I'm not going to be doing it on video. Probe away. Just because, um, you know... I mean, maybe if I speed up the footage 10 times and, like, just show you, oh, I scanned all these. Uh, but, you know, my my biggest tip is to just, just scan the planet. It's not like you need any strategy. Sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Right there, we can find another palladium. We only have three probes left. And your C-scanner results are poor. That means that this place is starting to get depleted, but it's not depleted yet. And you want to... You want to do you want to deplete every single planet right that you can so we'll go fire another one there we go depleted which means that that's that's pretty much it like you could keep scanning but like there's there's no point we we pretty much did everything that we could we got we got our probes we can we can leave here but you still have access to to other planets of course we're out of probes so you can't really do that but no longer are you going to be able to to find stuff you'll actually notice that we have uh, the upper there, you have Sara Beric, which is the system that we're in, and how much of it we've actually completed. So we could start the the scanning here, but we don't have any probes, so we're kind of SOL. But we need to find a fuel depot to actually purchase more, which, lucky for us, there's a fuel depot right here. All you have to do is come over here, and you can just buy, buy probes, uh, and we can actually buy... 30 probes max and we can buy fuel which is going to help us do other things so we're going to go ahead and max out our fuel as well and then we can go over and finish off what we're doing on a morcan so leaving a morcan we can also come over to this tiny little tiny little planet right here and we can scan bindu as well let's go ahead and do that now, I do want to point out, actually, on Bender, you'll see scanner results are rich. That means there is a ton of resources that we can actually get from this planet. And the way that I like to do it is like mowing the lawn. 
Uh, I like to just go up each little area like this and then and then back down and uh, and you know you can typically find everything you need just by doing that or at least kind of be like okay well I'm in the proximity of something big let me go ahead and grab that and you know the scanning I get it it's not it's not super fun but it is a lot faster than driving around an entire planet that has you know very little actually on it and trying your best to get all of the damn little minerals that it has and and you know it's this is I, I think this it's it's a double-edged sword like this is this is obviously easier and more efficient but there is definitely something about you know driving around a planet especially for your first time if you've never played the game before and discovering those things and not using you know a guide or or any any maps or resources or anything makes it uh it's it's the discoverability in mass effect one is definitely higher i think than mass effect two and bender is depleted and you'll see that we finished this place a hundred percent but we can go back to the fuel depot and buy some probes which we can use those do cost credits which is worth uh mentioning so actually we have a few different things that we can do now that we've done that so you can actually just isn't it cool you get to fly the normandy around i think it's awesome uh but there are different systems that we can go to but essentially what we want to do is we actually want to go to we could go to the systems and scan but what we want to do instead is we're going to use the mass relay and this is how we can get to all of the different so this is very similar to the map on mass effect one obviously feels a little bit bigger though we can go to the local cluster we can go to the uh the serpent nebula which has the citadel which is actually where we're going to be heading in this episode and we have you know all of these other ones and you can kind of see what missions do we have at all of these systems uh so these are the ones that are available to us but i need to go to the local cluster first this is very important to me very important and i need to show you guys one of the best things in the entire game and that my friends is uranus uh so if we go to uranus and we start the scanner really commander yeah ready ready helping uranus <laughs> <laughs> so anyways there's some uh planets that we can check out like earth you can actually go check out the orbit of earth and uh, you can't scan it you can't probe it you can't do anything to it trust me all of its resources have been used uh but i just think it's cool that you you get to see earth um, and you actually don't get to go to the to you don't see luna at all here uh and mars obviously being another really big deal this is where prothean ruins were found as we discovered in mass effect uh in mass effect one which eventually is what led us to uh where we are now in this world and we can actually scan a few of these so since this is going to be one of the few times that we actually do handle the scanning thing the other being after we get some upgrades and i kind of show you what those do uh there are some general scanning tips that i want to go over the first thing that i want to say is that you don't need to scan every planet at all in fact if you only scan planets that are rich or good if that if that's their label at the top resource level uh th that's it that's all you need if it says moderate if it says poor you don't need to scan those it's a waste you don't you don't need to do it i would also recommend scanning more than what you need for resources so uh the most resources you need to get all of the upgrades in the game is for element zero you need about 35 uh 35 000 element zero for iridium you need about 250,000. for platinum you need about 305,000 platinum and for palladium you need about 240,000 palladium to be able to get every upgrade in the entire game so keep that in mind but the planets that you have available to you right at the start of the game if you want to go and scan those you can uh just i i would say focus on the rich and good ones and you'll have plenty of resources the other thing that i would say is uh the bigger the spike on that that graph that you saw with the four that's going to be your biggest reward so try to hit those as much as possible also we can upgrade our scanner and our probe capacity later on once we open up that ability uh and the scanner will make it way the scanner speed will make it way faster and being able to hold 60 probes instead of 30 is going to make your trips out into the uh, the milky way to scan way way easier while scanning ed will also say if there's an anomaly when you arrive in a system uh and that's actually how you can sometimes find what's called loyalty missions or uh, these other in seven missions uh side quests if you will 
The other thing is planet surfaces will never change. So once you scanned a planet and you've depleted it, it's done. You don't have to worry about it. it it's gone. Even if you get it to poor quality, you're probably fine. Don't even worry about it. Uh, the um, the the uh, Ezo, the element zero, is super, super rare. And there are a few planets that you can go to uh, that will really help that. Uh, Aaron Lee, Deratar, Praying Mouth, Thunawana Nuro. All, all really really high in element zero so if you're missing element zero and you want that that's those are some of the planets you can go to element zero is going to be incredibly useful later on so i just wanted to say uh that that i think that is worth doing um is is getting that scanning get as as much as you can when you want to uh but but don't don't stress too hard about the the moderate and all of that you You'll end, you'll, odds are, you'll end Mass Effect 2 with way more resources than you were going to use if you're, if you're a scanner like I am. So, let's go to where we need to go, which is the Citadel. I can't wait to show you guys the Citadel Mass Effect 2, because they've made some big, uh, some big improvements. I'm going to go ahead and buy more probes, because uh, I keep running out. Fuel, uh, I'll get into fuel later. We probably won't touch that in this episode, but let's go ahead, let's go to the Citadel, and let's potentially recruit Kasumi Gato. Uh, supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, the Colossal Deep Space Station serves as a collapital. The co collapital? What did I just say? The point is, uh, it's not actually created by the Protheans. We know this now. It was created by the Reapers. Our first time approaching the Citadel in Mass Effect 2. That's pretty darn exciting. Look at this place, man. That Legendary Edition looking real good. It's also surprising to me that the Citadel allows a server ship to dock there. But, probably because of who's on board. So, uh, we obviously can only choose... I'm actually going to change her appearance here because I don't really like that one. We can only bring Miranda and Jacob, so let's do that. And we can see their points here. Uh, we are actually going to put three... We're going to put another... Uh, so we're going to make her Cerberus officer just a little better because that actually improves everybody. Squad health and weapon damage goes up whenever you do that. Uh, and we're going to... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Um, let's actually leave jacob for where we're at and then we can change their weapons if we so choose but we're not going to do that we on the citadel we arrived in style did you see that so this is a new part of the citadel something that we Commander were Shepard, not enter the password and receive a free oh. gift oh hello wow got problems with collectors Try Kasumi's credit services. <laughs> so that's uh that's Kasumi right there. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. We'll see what else she has to say here. You can see the hand art. Look at them, looking beautiful. Good okay, you. really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> You do have the password, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and let's go do this. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence. Silence golden. is golden. It's good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Uh, are you? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Hmm. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. 
Am I gonna... am I gonna have to help you with that? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Ethan arms dealer, Hawk. murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I think you're absolutely right. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Huh. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. That's cool. Well, I see why she wants it I back. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. Remember, this is entirely DLC, so with the Legendary Edition, it's included, but that's if you're playing the original, you might not have this. We'll get it done. I It'll recommend be fun. you get it. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. She looks so good. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Kasumi Gato, everyone. Master Thief, now on our side. And we got some more codex entries, which is awesome. And look at the keepers in Mass Effect 2. They have so much texture now. I like it. So we have to travel to Beckenstein, where we can uh, do what's called a loyalty mission in this game. Loyalty missions are how to make sure I I was I was talking um but <laughs> you can uh it's it's actually pretty important stuff so these are also things that you'll find littered throughout as galactic news let's go ahead and listen to those so these galactic news will actually give you some little references to Mass Effect 1 weird considering that the council has a human on it. military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas according to a new report since even prime an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn as the public became skeptical that the alliance can match geth technology well considering that geth are technology Remember that guy that in Mass Effect 1 that was like, will you support the Terra Firma party? And we were like, no, no, uh, tax evasion. The colony of Mindwar has won the right to use Commander Shepard's likeness on its colonial seal. The commander's family was killed in a slaver attack, but Shepard has maintained ties to the colony. You're darn right she has. The independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in uh -oh. charge. Remember, known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. Which we know it is, right? We were there. Cerberus killed Admiral Kohoku and Cerberus is responsible for what happened on Akuz. So Cerberus ain't good, especially to Commander Corey Shepard. Yeah, 
Y'all remember that side quest? Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked Biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding, and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. It's all because of what we do in Mass Effect 1. I just, I think it's super cool to do this. John right. All right, so let's walk away for now. Uh, I just think it's super cool that we can we can hear all of that. So let's talk to the gunnery tree here. Yeah, all right. I'm already bored. Uh, what about you? Can I help you, ma'am? Security seems heavy. It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Makes sense. Thanks for your time. Next. All right, I'm going to head out though cuz I apparently don't need to check in or anything. I'm just I'm just fine and can go do whatever. Oh, never mind. I lied. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. I just said that. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. Uh, well. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Sure. We can do that. Uh. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know. Huh. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. Captain I can Bailey. It. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Uh, yeah. Well, I was. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. Uh, yeah. Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Nice. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. All right, I let's will. do it. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, wow, there's a lot that we can talk about. Let's hear what's going on on the council. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Now, if you remember, in Mass Effect 1, we collected a bunch of Dillanaga's writings, Matriarch Dillanaga's writings. So it's kind of cool that there is a concert hall named after them as well. Tell me about this place. 
All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zikira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. And what about abusing suspects? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. <laughs> I mean, hey, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. <laughs> the way he said that. I need to talk to the council. How can Head I through oh, the security checkpoint All right. take a public shuttle. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. You know, I kind of like Captain Bailey. I mean, he's a little he's a little rough around the edges, but you know, he seems like a good guy. Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. That's this true. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Great. And we can ask about a bunch of different stuff. Looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. And unfortunately, we don't get to go there. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've Are suppressed information me? about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. I'm pissed. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, addition... In so addition pretty much to the same patrols, thing. Weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I'm straight up shocked. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Well, That's I need those. Now. Thank, Thank you, you Avina. Avina. It's very Have important to me that I go to this store over here and buy some gosh darn stuff. I hear stuff. this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Well, lucky for me, I need to buy some high-grade provisions. Let me tell you. Various quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. Guess who that's for? That's our that's for our quest there for uh for the mess sergeant in the Normandy. We can also buy the Ascension novel, which is pretty darn funny. Uh <laughs> there is an Ascension and a Revelations novel. Uh we can actually go ahead and buy those. Uh Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Kavar that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto in the beginning of human galactic exploration. So we can go grab all of those and we get the trophy scholar. You love to see it. So yeah, you you want to pick those up. They're only five credits each. And of course, we just got the journal for our special ingredients as well. Uh, and we can listen to more galactic news if you want. So that's from our rogue VI mission that we did in Mass Effect 1. Something about that is actually pretty interesting. That was us. We we stopped them from being casualties. You're welcome. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. Um, the Tarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. 
So keep that in mind that Balak still remains at large, but also it was just me. I think Stephen Hackett is a big fan of uh, of us. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, but pretty sure pretty sure Hackett loves us. So we can listen to advertisements. No, I'm actually not. I'm, I'm really not. Krogan. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> yeah, they don't allow us. They think I'm dangerous. Damn Turians. We should just murder all of them. So we can come in here as well and talk to Delea Sanasi. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. And uh, let's go ahead and investigate and ask her Fish about some stuff. Are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Perfect. And we can also uh, we can uh, we can I ask about purchases. Something. My apologies. I do not make sales. We actually I buy it from the computer. So let's purchase. go ahead and go over there. So we actually, because of our Renegade and our Paragon stuff, we can choose. Uh, do we want to do an endorsement or do we want to accuse her of classism? Uh, we'll just give her an endorsement. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? I am, My yeah. goodness. Yeah. The increase yeah. in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. <laughs> yeah. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. All right, I'm ready, Commander guys? Shepherd, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. Nice. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Nice. So let's go ahead and we can buy a space hamster. If you know the reference, it's Baldur's Gate. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Bioware was big on on Baldur's Gate. They were they that was some of their first work that they were doing, uh, and there was uh, a reference to a space hamster. You can actually buy a space hamster right now, which is actually going to be in the captain's quarters, uh, which I just think is awesome. So, yes, we want to buy that. And, yes, we want to buy this Ilium Scald fish. Uh, these are uh, these will show up in our aquarium that we have. And then we also can buy the Normandy SR-1 Alliance ship model. Uh, and that will also display in our captain's quarters as well as the Destiny's Ascension. These are all super cheap. So we'll go ahead and buy everything that we can from the Citadel. Uh, shop, which is which is worth it, just because you know it's completion, so and uh, fish, I just think it's cool. Ship? I just, you know, I just think it's cool. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Hey, I just said that. That's funny. Oh, uh, look who it is, Emily Wong. That's very the nice. Maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath. After human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Okay, Hanar. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. I'm so glad she's she's done stuff. Ew. Welcome to Citadel News. That doesn't sound good at all. That's kind of gross. The top story in international affairs is a Batarian test of a new orbital mirror system. By placing large arrays of mirrors at a planet's Lagrange point. Focus sunlight on any Oh, that is some That is some Naru level stuff. So, uh that is pretty much all that we can do in this area. So, we want to move on and if you remember, they said uh we got a journal entry from overhearing those those Krogan about trying to find somebody to ask about fish on the Presidium. Supposedly, we can find that information here on Zakara Ward. Uh, but we're going to head down these stairs and see what else we can do on Zakara Ward because there are different levels, of course, that we can go to. Uh, we were just on level 27. And we can head over here to uh, 
to level 26. And we can talk to a used Greetings, ship Earth salesman. Clan. You will <laughs> find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. I, I, I love it. It's There's literally nothing to do. <laughs> it's just like, of course a Volus is a used ship salesman, you know? Uh, we can ask this guy. Do you know anything about fish? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Yeah, it's just pretty damn good, I'll tell you that. What can I get you? Ramen. I'll take ramen, please. And we do have a rapid uh, rapid trans transit. Now we have an advertisement. Video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet, featuring an all Elcor cast. I want that video. Nostalgic melancholy. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles? Your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. And don't forget to catch Elk. Unbelievable. Live, an unforgettable 14 hour experience. <laughs> Insincere endorsement. You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. <laughs> it's like the best, it's literally the best thing I've ever seen. Um, this clan. Oh. And I want her arrested. Oh. What? I was just walking by. Whoa. Hey, what's going Sorry, on here? I'm trying to take a statement here. No, no, no. No one There's messes with Corian. talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. Mm -hmm. I did not. Just because I'm a Corian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need it was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. What is going on here? You say you're falsely accused. I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. His damn what? You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... That's a great idea. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. That's a really good idea, but you don't have the money, so potentially you stole the credit. You stole the credits. You know about the pilgrimage? Yeah. I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Yeah. Why not? Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. Whoa, hey, I'll run her what do you mean? See what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Whoa, dude. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I guarantee you that's what I you did. I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll look into this for I'll you. I'll see if I can find out what happened. I will Man, save the day. C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. You got it. Let's Bye, go. everyone. Be careful out there. All right, so we need to find the credit shit uh, because, you know, obviously that guy's mad. I was told to pick up a new Omni jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Huh. So obviously you want to kind of overhear people on the Citadel when you're here because there is, there's a lot that can happen. You can kind of overhear things and it'll give you side quests and, and journals and all this different stuff that you can do. Uh, so it is worth keeping that in mind as you proceed through the game is hey if somebody's sitting there and you can over overhear them and you can listen in on their conversation well, to, do it oh, the advertising on the wards market he sent me here come on why do i need a service order 
the Ward's Market. Why would you come to a Zakara Ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock, and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. Uh, maybe not those guys. Those guys seem to be doing... Those guys are having their own... Those guys are having their own problems. Anyways, we can come over here to a new shop. The Serta Foundation. What do you Is think? there any maybe credit shit around poster? here? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like, for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Good day, citizen. I don't Welcome know if those the are the couple from Mass Effect 1. I believe they are. So, real quick, we can actually say uh, Cortoon's credit chip. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. We can actually investigate if we want about the Serta Foundation and all that. Uh, we kind of already know Sorry, a lot about the Serta Foundation the Serta from Foundation Mass Effect 1. The is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. So if you remember in Mass Effect 1, there was a couple that we could like randomly be like, Hey, your baby, you should do that. You should do this with your baby instead. Uh, I'm pretty sure the couple that's right there. I couldn't help but notice your prices. Is, is, steep. is them. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my, you're Shepard, aren't you? Yes, I am. I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. So we can actually do this in pretty much every store. Just give them the endorsement and speak into the endorsement. This is my favorite I'm Commander store. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. So we're a liar. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Makes sense. And we get a Paragon thing there. But yeah, the this, I'm pretty sure. say that there are occasional motor control side effects. This is definitely Jake them. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Yep. Yep, it's them. I just think that's cool. Has literally no bearing at all and doesn't mean anything, but at least we did that. So right here, we can actually buy a Metagel capacity upgrade. So now we can carry more Metagel. It's a little expensive, 25,000 credits, but honestly worth. Uh, so we can buy that. And then we also have life support webbing uh, within a wearable frame framework. The Serta Foundation developed an innovative set of micro stimulants, uh, and that will increase our health by 10%. So we can pick that up as well. Uh, so we're losing a little bit of money, but hey, not that bad. And we can actually have to equip the, the life support webbings that we just got to increase our health, if that's something that we wanted to do, uh, which hey, you, you might. Um, so there's some advertisements we can do, but there's another store that we can check out. And I'm still just kind of kind of looking around before we go to that store. Look at all the Elcor. I love it. I love seeing this many Elcor. Hell yeah. We still so have never seen one watch, though, to which to is... Or walk, I should say. So let's go ahead and talk Welcome to Merit. To Sarenus applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard. You know, know me. You? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hey, cool. Hey, do you a know Cortoon's credit chip? Not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. And he's over there. He's over there. Buy something. Oh, it's all automated. It's all automated these days. So you know, let's go I ahead and uh, software in my line of work. get another discount. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. He wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your <laughs> products. I would. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Just give don't me worry discount. about it. What if we just worked out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. You are such a liar. That will be splendid. I All can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you don't need to edit, though. I did it perfectly. So let's go ahead and buy what we can here. Tech damage, Omni Tool squad bonus, plus 10% tech power damage. Yeah, we're going to buy that. This. And uh, now we're broke. Uh, so we can do damage protection as well when we have some more credits. Uh, it costs 75,000 for that squad bonus, 10% sh to shields, barriers, and armor. Obviously incredibly strong. 
and we can buy the Archon, Archon Visor, which uh, re, uh, reduces the recharge time of our powers by 5%, which is actually pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and buy those. I don't have enough money to buy the other stuff just yet, but hey, what are you going to do? Tech damage, one out of five. And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny to hear, to hear uh, Shepard be like, <laughs> I this felt is my hand go into my pocket. No, you didn't. Please move along. I found you it. Forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh, well, the Quarium could have stolen it. I'm gonna kick you in your I'll teeth. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a mm. permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Wow, it's like real cops. Thank you. I, I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. Oh, let me get 40 experience and a thousand credits, uh, which, hey, you know, uh, that's fine. So anyways, we the, the good thing that we did there is that we helped a, a, a Quarian who did not deserve the, the yeah. pure hatred that she got from that. So uh, poverty this area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off. Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. I mean, it makes sense. That's all for Thank now. you for using Avena. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to head out of here. Unfortunately, we haven't found anywhere about fish yet. But if we actually open our journal, we can see our assignments that we have here. And Citadel Krogan Sushi. A Krogan on level 27 of the Zakara Ward would like to taste fish from the markets. So we need to find someone in the Zakara market who knows about the Presidium Lakes and ask them about the fish, which is a very weird thing to have to do. So we're going to continue up, and uh, there's actually a floor that we can go to if we can get up to level 28. Have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, Ooh, interesting. Oh. We need to visit Dark Star, located on level 28. Which, my friends, we are going to tackle that in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. It's a lot. This one was a lot of... Uh, it's like an intermediate uh, episode uh, where basically we're working on... We got Kasumi Gato in our squad. Um, and now we're just kind of working on, on kind of getting the lay of the land, the scanning... Uh, exploring the Citadel. In the next episode, we're going to finish exploring the Citadel, go meet Captain Anderson, get our Spectre status back, I hope, and uh, do some more shopping, because there's a lot that we can actually do on the Citadel right now, and I would recommend that we do as much as possible before we go to Omega, where we're going to be getting into a lot of trouble. Omega is a really part, uh, fun part of the game, uh, but w we have a couple episodes, I think, until we get there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was uh, a lot of uh, uh, smaller stuff in this one, but hey, got to do it for the completionist run. Thank you guys. I love you. And a huge shout out to those of you in the premieres. Don't forget to uh, throw a like and a comment on these videos. They really do help it out. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everyone.